Okay. We've had several customers ask us how we adjust our antennas when we assemble them and sell them. So we've set up a little demonstration to show everyone how we set up a Loop Yagi uh, from the start. This was just taken off the assembly bench. You notice the UT141 is coming straight down out of the antenna. I have a piece of coax connected to our uh, network analyzer, which is in the background. Um, this antenna, completely untouched, is 1.34 to 1 at 1296. So we're going to see if we can improve upon that a little bit. The very first thing you do, just grab the coax and just gently pull down. And as you pull down, you'll notice the SWR starts to drop. And you, you tend to flatten the loop out a little bit, which is the way it's supposed to work. So now that we've found the lowest point by pulling down on the coax, now we just take both of our thumbs behind the loop and bend it forward slightly. Didn't make a whole lot of improvement there. Start pulling down a little bit more. Now we're under 1.17 right now. So now the next thing we would do is bend the reflector back just a little. You see it got worse. So let's try bringing it a little bit closer. Ah, there we're starting to hit a good sweet spot. Now we're at 1.076. Now the SWR is a little bit lower uh, down towards 1290. Don't worry about that. Loop Yagis have a very, very wide bandwidth. So now we can try. Now when you push up and pull down, you see you can change right where the resonance is. So right there is the best we're going to do, 1.03. Now, the brass is quite springy, so it tries to spring back to where it was originally. So you, sometimes you have to manipulate it with your hands and bend it into shape. But at this point, we're finished. So on this antenna, which is a rear mount antenna, the coax is going to bend backwards. And what I always do is take these two fingers and I let my middle finger be my bending guide that prevents the coax from bending too sharp around that corner. And I just bend it back towards the, the mounting hole. And now we'll drop a screw through the mounting hole. Uh, on our rim round antennas, the mounting hole always has a circle drawn around it. And you do not put a reflector on that. Keep that one open for the mounting screw. If this was a front uh, center mount antenna, the coax would bend forward and whichever, uh, either D1 or D2, whichever screw lines up with a hole in the connector bracket, you use that screw. Just take the nut off, put the bracket on, put the nut back on. Sometimes, depending upon how you had to shape the loop, the connector bracket may hit right in the middle. If that's the case, you take the three quarter inch, you use a three quarter inch wrench to put on the nut, use a 916 open end wrench to hold the connector, take the nut off, turn the bracket around so that the bend is the opposite direction, and then it will line up with one of those screws. Put the screw in, and at that point, you're finished with the antenna. And that's it. That's very, very simple to align. You can also play around with D1, bending it towards or away from the driven loop uh, if you don't have uh, satisfactory SWR. But 1.3 to 1, not too many people can argue with. Thank you.